The CEO of Telegram just got arrested. So what? So? So? Do you not care about our privacy? We need free speech! A bunch of illegal stuff takes place on that app every single day. Good! Look, I understand there's bad people on there, but the whole app doesn't need to be monitored because of that. I get that, but I think there's also people out there who want to keep their illegal activities a lot more private than you want to keep your high messages. I have a right to privacy! Even though I already have free speech, we need free speech! Do you not no, respect our privacy? I don't privacy? think anybody's privacy should be invoked on, but I think if there's a concentrated point, it might so be. So if there's a lot might... of crime happening in one area, it's okay. What about the people that aren't committing the crime? Should we still investigate? Well, I think it's important to investigate crimes, yes. Then go after the criminals individually. I know Telegram's known for scams and illegal but rings. the government should just stay out okay, of it. Okay, so what about the people that get scammed every day and the children that get harmed in the making for the stuff that's on that app? <laughs> Like I said, go after those individuals. So you think that app should be monitored? Not necessarily, like else? but I do think some moderation should be happening on there. I think people should have the freedom to do what they want, even if it's illegal. Even if I disagree with it, they should still be able to do it. Do you understand what would happen if we had zero censorship everywhere? That's what it means to be American. You should be able to do what you want, say what we want, and not face the consequences of those actions. Yes, but it's a lot harder to go after a billion people than just have laws and order. Forget the law. The CEO was clearly set up because 10 minutes before his landing, they put out a warrant for I'm just it. saying, I haven't had a, heard a single good thing about that app. That's all I'm saying. Look, even though old people continually get scammed on there, that's their own fault for getting scammed. That doesn't make any sense. And you're broke, so you don't make any sense. It's too late. So now this is Kabbalah's fault. This is the country they want. Who would want to know about that?